Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Okay guys, as promised, I have for you today some additional cases for you to code. Of course, I got a little surprise in here for you, but that's okay, let's get started. First case is a skilled nursing facility visit. Here's your face sheet. Remember I said I'm gonna stop leading. In my previous cases, I tried to lead you so that you know exactly where to go. Here's your history of present illness. Let me enlarge this so that it's readable. There we go. Okay, what would be the ICD-10 CM diagnoses code? Any other diagnoses codes you feel should be added? As well as an E&M visit, because this is a follow-up visit. Okay. All right, that's your first case, that's case nine. History is problem-focused, exam is problem-focused, medical decision-making is straightforward. What CPT code would you assign in addition to the ICD-10-CM diagnoses codes? All right, and I changed things up. I've got some multiple choice questions because on that CPC exam, they're all multiple choice. So could you answer this question? The first one says the patient is diagnosed with congestive heart failure. A drug of choice is, is it ibuprofen, oxytocin, haloperidol, or digoxin? Number two, Jane Doe was admitted to the ambulatory care unit of the hospital for a planned cholecystectomy for cholelithiasis. Shortly before surgery, Jane developed tachycardia and the surgery was canceled. After a thorough workup for the tachycardia, Jane was discharged. This outpatient admission should be coded in the following sequence. What is the correct sequence, the correct order? Do you code the canceled surgery first, then the tachycardia, and then the cholelithiasis? Or do you code the tachycardia first, then the canceled surgery, and then the cholelithiasis? Or do you code the cholelithiasis and canceled surgery? Or do you code the cholelithiasis, the tachycardia, and the canceled surgery? What is the sequence for this scenario? A, B, C, or D? Number three, a service provided by a physician whose opinion or advice regarding evaluation and or management of a specific problem is requested by another physician is referred to as is it a referral, a consultation, a risk factor intervention, or concurrent care? Question number four. Don Smith is status post mastectomy six weeks ago due to carcinoma of the breast. She is admitted to the outpatient clinic for chemotherapy. What is the correct sequencing of the codes? Do you code first the chemotherapy and then the malignant neoplasm of the breast? Or do you code the chemotherapy, the personal history of neoplasm of the breast? Do you code a follow-up exam after surgery and then chemotherapy? 
or do you code a personal history of neoplasm of breast and chemotherapy? What is the correct sequencing? Is it A, B, C, or D? And one more question. Patients admitted in alcohol withdrawal suffering from delirium tremens. The patient is a chronic alcoholic and cocaine addict. Which of the following is the principal diagnosis? Is it alcoholic withdrawal? Is it chronic alcoholism? Cocaine dependence? Or delirium tremens? Which of the following is the principal diagnosis? A, B, C, or D. Okay, guys? Pause this video as you're reviewing the cases. Here's your first case. Review, go through, assign your codes. I'm looking for ICD-10-CM and CPT in this first case. And multiple choice questions, just give me A, B, C, or D. All right, guys, I will be back tomorrow with the answers to these. The one case study, the five multiple choice questions. And tomorrow I will leave with you two big case studies that include the face sheet, um, history and physical, op note, discharge summary, and progress notes. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow.